Our last half hour on 12 News at 5, Team 12's Tram Mai sat down one on one with Bishop Thomas Olstead to talk about the state of the Catholic Church and address the sex abuse scandal that's plaguing the church globally. She's back now with part two of her interview. Tram? I had an eye opening interview with Bishop Thomas Olmsted as he acknowledged the sex abuse that was happening within the Catholic Church. Now, the next step what to do about it. Dark secrets, decades old, coming to light. Any kind of abuse is, is a great, great evil. Enough to have the most powerful leader of the Catholic Church, Pope Francis, to hold an unprecedented summit at the Vatican to address the sex abuse scandal that's plagued the Catholic Church, calling the abuse a scourge and saying victims expected concrete and efficient measures. If we do not address this decisively now, um, Shame on us. We have a great responsibility to address this problem that we've become aware of in our society and in our church, and we have to act on that now. What would you say to those who have lost faith in the Catholic Church because for whatever reason, what's been happening? What would you say to them? I would say, first of all, I can understand why they get very angry about that. It makes me angry when I see these injustices happen. But I also say to them, please be mindful of the fact that your walking away isn't going to help the church address this. So I would hope that they would stay with us and work together with me, with my brother priests and, and lay people to address this in a, in a way so that this will not happen again. And Bishop Olmsted addresses this problem in many ways. Every year, twice a year, he holds a special mass for those who have been abused, both in English and Spanish. And the bishop also holds grief to grace retreats. Grief to Grace retreats are retreats that are held usually for four days in which there's a priest present, there's counselors present, uh, there's those who understand the kind of terrible uh, journey that it is to come from being abused, especially as a minor, and then coming back to being healthy and whole again. But the only way to heal is for these survivors to come forward. I hope it will also give them con uh, confidence that God loves them, and that others of us in the church are reaching out and really want to help them get back on their feet. There are also more resources to help survivors from church bulletins and parishes to websites from the Catholic Diocese of Phoenix. I've put the links to those on our website, 12news.com. Back to you.